Hi Novi Mechnies! Welcome to another episode of Novi Mech Reviews. So for today, the product that I'm going to review would be the natural and organic sea sponges from the Lifestyle Outlet. So if you guys are wondering what's the purpose of this product and how do you actually use it, please keep on watching. Hi guys, so I actually received these products from the Lifestyle Outlet. I have actually six of this products which some I already opened and checked earlier. Okay. I believe as of today they already have um, new packaging which you can check on their Facebook and Instagram page. So okay guys, so for the actual product itself at the salah. So they have it in six pieces, okay, and they also have they also have it in uh, three pieces per pack. So you have two options, and then it also comes with an organza pouch. So pag inopen yas la, ayan nakalagay pa sila sa ganito. So very nice ang kanilang packaging. So they come in handy, very light, super gaan. Okay. So, ayan ang kanilang. So, according here, this is a natural sea sponge for, which is best for uh, makeup removal, soft exfoliation, facial cleaning, and it's also good for all skin types. So, sizes, um, approximately is 1.7 to 2 inches and 4.3 centi or 4.3 centimeter to 5 c centimeter. So these are yun yung sizes na tong sponges na to guys. So maybe for those who are not so familiar with a uh, sea sponge, I'll just give you a quick fact about it. So sea sponge is actually a type of animal that lives in the world seas and ocean. And also these sea sponges are invertebrates, which means to say that they do not have backbone, which gives gives them this kind of you know texture. They are super soft. Also, sea sponges comes in different varieties, different um, sizes, colors, and shapes. There's a lot of purpose for sea sponges. Uh, you can even see them using it for um, um, household cleaning, for cosmetics, skincare, makeup, um, for cleaning the vehicle, um, also for uh, painting. They're also using this uh, for some craftsy, uh, for pottery, arts and crafts. Um, so there's a lot of purpose for this product right here. So let's start opening this product. Okay, so I'm opening the three pieces one. So this is how it looks like guys. Kapag, uh, when it's not wet, it's a bit firm. Ayan, the texture, it's spongy, very spongy. Ayan, oh. So guys, you may uh, you might be wondering how come uh, the colors are different, okay? So this is actually, the darker one is actually the original color of the sponge, of the sea sponge. So this is the natural color because uh, when the sea sponge are harvested, um, the color is actually dark brown like this to um, dark, uh, like close to black color even. Okay, so this is the natural color of the sponge. And then once they bleach it um, using a peroxide, that's when it turns to this color. So the amount of peroxide that they will use and the processing time, that determines the color of, uh, of the bleach one. So these are the bleach one and this is the natural color. Okay, let's compare the wet ones and the dry ones and see how what's the difference. So I've actually opened uh, one pack earlier and then I soak them in water. Ito, it's right here. I soak them in water. So these are the wet ones and this is the dry one. So when it comes to texture, definitely once you soak it to water, it's soft. It's more softer than this. This still has the spongy feel because it's uh, really dry. Okay. So, of course, if you're going to use it for exfoliating your face, you have to soak it in water muna for maybe 3 to 5 minutes until it's soft. So, ayan talaga guys. 
So see, if you notice, let's try this. So this is the hard one, this is the dry one, and this is the soft one. So can you see the difference? Mas softer na to. Okay? Yan. So these are the two bleach one, and then we have the natural colored um, sea sponge. Okay, when it comes to the softness, actually guys, it's different eh. Even if they are the same kind of, um, of sea sponge, um, the softness varies. I think it depends on the size. And then also, yung mga pores nila, it's uh, different than siyempre. So, um, among these three, this is more softer for me. And then, this the next one would be this. And then, this one, it's soft pa rin naman siya. It's still soft, but compared to the two, mas soft tong dalawa. And then, so yung natural um, color ng ano, mas firm siya ng konti, even if it's wet na. Okay? So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to use this tree sponge on my face. So I'll, I'll start using the smallest one, I think, among the three. So this is the three products. Is it the small? Oh, I think it's about the same size as the other one. So, but this is, this has the softest, ano, feel kasi. So let me try to use it first. So earlier, I just used a BB cream. So I think I'll just use the smallest one first to try to remove um, the product on my face. Okay, and then see how it feels and if it can somehow remove, um, you know, dirt on my face. It's okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, so guys, this is, I know, masarap naman siya sa face. So the texture of this, guys, it's not too rough, actually. It's very soft. In fact, it's very soft sa face. Okay, let's try to see if we can. Okay, uh, anyway, guys, be careful when you... You see it underneath your eye, dito sa eye area here, because our skin here are very, very sensitive because uh, it's very thin compared to the other skin that we have on our face. So we have to be very careful when we do scrub or when we use something on our face. Parang don't drag it. Okay, dito lang siya sa baba. Try not to use it sa under eye. Okay, I actually like the texture of this one, guys. It's a very soft lang. Parang very mild. It's it's a very mild surface. So I think you can use it to remove yung mga excess dirt, ganyan. And I think you can... Yan. Okay. So okay naman yung feel niya sa face. Wala naman siyang nakuhang product or dirt or anything. Kasi anyway, hindi naman ako masyadong naglagay ng products earlier. Konting ano lang para ma-cover yung mga red spots ko over here. Okay. So, kaya malinis naman siya. And yung feel niya sa face, it's very light. Well, I think it depends also on how you use it. How light-handed you are. Um, one important thing when you're doing scrubbing or you're exfoliating your face is don't do it too, ano, parang tawag dun, too abrasive. You have to be gentle. And guys, when exfoliating your face pala, you only have to do it maybe twice a week. Ganyan. Don't do it daily. Don't over exfoliate. Anything na sobra is not good. Okay. So going to the next one. So I'm already done with this. I'm going to use this one naman. Okay. I actually want to try to use it using a cleanser. So I have here my product. Noe Mac Beauty Facial Cleanser. This is a uh, foaming facial cleanser. And I also have this um, gold mineral cleanser from Face Republic. Okay. Maybe I'll just try to use this first. So just pump it here. 
You know, guys, I'm actually using um a sponge then, but um, it's a typical kind of sponge. But with this one, I and I put a little bit of product right here, and then let's see if it can clean the face. Very light-handed, lang ako, because I don't really want to. I uh, know over exfoliate or something guys better than sha actually better sha with the sponge I actually like the filling now when you when you use a product well you can use it like yung kanina what I did is I just use it on its own and I just tried to remove excess oil or excess dirt if there is any on my face so for the second product um, for the second sponge I actually try using it with the cleanser so I just use my facial foaming cleanser and then I think it helps to clean my face then and you can feel na there's a little bit of um, exfoliation uh, exfoliating happening here on this part very very light now. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I think then that all. Shall I use it on my? Okay. I'll use the. Okay. Let's use it here then. Okay. Okay. I think this is good. And then, kugasan ko lang to guys. And I'll try to remove yan. Yung mga excess. Na ano. Product on my face. Hmm. Okay. Nakukuha niya guys yung mga ano. Yung tirang product. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but uh, yung mga bubbles on my face earlier. Ayan, nakuha niya. Okay. Okay. This is good. Balik ako guys. I'll just dry my face and then let's try the other one yung natitira okay. hi guys i'm back so natapos ko na gamitin itong dalawang sponge now we're left with the darker colored one ito yung natural color ng ng ating sea sponge well when it comes to texture parang mas ano mas mas ano to eh Mas rough ng konte, pero not too rough naman na hindi pwedeng gamitin sa skin. So, ini squeeze ko na yung water. Teka, meron pa na tira. Okay. And then try ko lang i-fill yung texture niya sa skin. Okay. Oh, mas mas rough to, pero feeling ko makakatulong to to remove yung mga dead skin cells sa ating skin. Okay. I think dito talagang mas ano siya. Dapat mas gentle ka dito kasi mas rough yung um, outer layer niya compared dun sa dalawa na tinry ko kanina. But I think this will help para matanggal yung mga dumidumi sa face. Yan, yung mga side ng nose. And I think you can also use this on your neck. Okay. Can also use it here if this is big enough guys because there are bigger um, I think there are bigger sea sponges that you know we usually use for bathing I think uh, this kind of texture would be really good when you know scrubbing your body para matanggal yung mga dirt and any dead skin cells on our arms legs chest area back area ganon for face pwede rin naman but um because it's more rough compared to the first that i've tried you have to be extra gentle because um otherwise it will be too abrasive for your skin 
I want to try it using my other cleanser which is the gold mineral but I'm just gonna apply it on my hands na lang kasi I'm already done cleansing my face using the sponge so I just put a small amount guys it's like this yeah small amount lang and then I think I'll just wet my I don't know my hand and then let's see if it will create some bubbles too. Can you hear the sound? So, maganda rin siya sa body. If it's if it's if this is big enough, sana it's also good for the body. But because of the size, it's more ideal for the face, I think. Okay, ayan. Okay, I want to try applying a product. And then, let's see if marirremove niya. So, let me just wash my, ano muna, my hands. And I'll try to apply something. Let's try to apply a foundation. And then, see if it, if matatanggal siya. But actually, guys, you know, I've seen some videos wherein they're using the sponge to apply their foundation. And I think it's possible. Um, depending na lang yun sa technique mo on how to apply it. So here is, um, um, I'm using foundation Superstay, Maybelline Superstay. So let's just try to apply it. So, I just apply it here. Let's see if it's going to be removed. Actually, it's a little bit longer. Let's add a bit more. Okay. Not sure if you can see it in camera. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. But, ayan. I have a foundation here now. And then, let's see if we can remove it. Just by using a wet sponge. Ooh. Okay. Ayan siya, guys. Natanggal niya yung product. Can you see it? Okay. So, pwede niyo rin siyang gawin na ganun. Just like what I did earlier with the first sponge that I used. So, tinanggal ko lang yung um, ginamit ko na BB cream kanina on my face. And then, the second sponge, I use it um, together with my foaming facial cleanser to clean my face. And then, yung glass, this, the, the bigger one. Ayun nga, I, I tinray ko lang siya sa face ko if it's, um, if it's soften up. Kasi mahirap din, um, baka magkaroon ng, ano, baka masyadong rough siya for the face but i think okay naman siya it, it just depends on how you use it on how light-handed you are so maybe next time guys we can um i'll try to do another review of using this product when applying um like foundation makeup ganyan and then let's see if it will work also so, yun guys, I'm already done trying this on my face. How you can use this sponge. Of course, before using it, um, you need to soak it in water and make sure that they are uh, soft enough to use on your face. So, like what I did, uh, I did earlier, you can use this to remove any excess dirt on your face without applying anything. As long as it's wet, it's dumped. Um, and then you sque squeeze any excess amount of water and then um, the other one I use it to clean my face using any facial cleanser that you're currently using so as for me I use the facial foaming type of cleanser and then for this one you can also use it well the same thing um, you can use it either applying facial cleanser or any uh, facial soap that you have you can use it then if you want to use it Long just to you know scrub your face and your neck. I think this one I would prefer using it sa neck on para sa akin. And then this too, I'm gonna use it sa face. Kasi this one, at least the neck part is not so sensitive compare sa face natin. So I think it's good here. Anyway, when cleaning, di lang naman face, uh, pati neck area then 
you need you have to clean it when i touch my face guys um i can feel naman na it's clean oh hindi naman hindi naman siya mahabdi sa face um i think it really depends on how you uh, how you use it sa mukha mo but so far it's smooth naman um and then i think i you know para makita mo naman na linis naman yung face ko so how do you clean the sponge so ito guys may instruction naman na nakalagay dito care tips uh, rinse with water after every use and dry naturally in a well ventilated area okay so after you use it guys Make sure that there's no, wala nang um, excess products left on on the sponge. Dapat malinis na rin siya. You can use um, a soap, a liquid soap to clean this. Ayan. And then water lang, wat warm water and then soap. And then um, rinse with water after every use and dry naturally in a well-ventilated area. Hang in the free organza pouch to ensure they are dry thoroughly. Once a month, soak sponge in a cup of warm water with one tablespoon of baking soda for 15 minutes. And then, the sponge feel firm when dry. Simply soak in water before every use. Do not put in boiling water. Yes, guys. So, according here, do not use boiling water when cleaning the sponge or it will damage it. Okay, so I think it's very easy to clean this. Just use um, regular like tap water or warm water. And then you can use um, like a liquid soap. And then just make sure na um, there's no any leftover products left. Like katulad nito, itong pinaglinisan ko kanina ng, um, pinagtanggalan ko kanina ng um, foundation. So make sure na malinis yan, wala nang natitira. And then... They have this organza pouch. Once you squeeze all the water, dapat wala nang natitira yan, katulad nito. You just put it inside and then just hang it somewhere na well-ventilated area so magdadry na lang siya naturally. So that's how you care for your sea sponge. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and cons of this product. For me personally, I like it because um, it's a natural option and it's eco-friendly and it also comes in an eco-friendly packaging which is this one and then this one it does the job of you know cleaning your face and exfoliating your face um, and then um, another good thing about this product is it's um, all natural it's eco-friendly it's organic and then it doesn't damage the environment because um, guys when they harvest um, sea sponge based on my research when they harvest sea sponge um it doesn't really damage the environment in a way that it grows back again so sea sponge grows naturally under the sea and it's actually a renewable resource because once they harvest this um sea sponge it actually grows back after like three in three to five years it will grow back again so it doesn't damage anything in the environment I like the fact also that it's um, highly absorbent. So if you'll see it so when I soak it in the water, you have to squeeze it talaga kasi na absorb niya talaga yung water. And um, it doesn't take long before it became soft. Kasi I think it's about like three to five minutes long. It's already soft enough and you can already use it on your face. When I used the sponge earlier and used some uh, some of my cleansing products, Makikita nyo naman talagang um, it creates um, a lather, yung bula niya. It, uh, I was able to uh, use it or spread it all over my face. So I think that's um, another plus point. And then they are softly textured. So they are not too rough. Especially these two, I think um, I like to use it on my face. I didn't feel any... Um, um, parang it, it's not it's just comfortable to use it on your on your face it's like your it's like your regular sponge parang ganun lang siya this is um also the same thing um but it's not as soft as this too but this one is okay din naman siya um i would love to use this on my neck you know kasi kailangan mo rin namang mag uh, parang exfoliate para at least pantay kasi for sure you also have dead skin cells here hindi lang dito all over your body actually 
these uh, sponges are very durable. It will last longer than you know the the usual like synthetic sponge that um, you might probably be using. Synthetic sponge will only last for a very short time before you know it starts falling apart. But with this one, if you clean it and maintain it properly, it will last for a long period of time, na guys. So. Um, you know, it will save you a lot of money rather than buying a synthetic sponge and you have to change it or replace it every now and then. But with this with this sponge right here, it will last for, you know, even probably two to three years. Basta, lagi nyo na lang siyang nililinis and, um, you know, dry it properly um, every after use. They are toxin-free and also hypoallergenic. Therefore, when you wash it more frequently, it will not retain any parang bad odor. Because if you guys notice, some of our sponges, if hindi mo sila na maintain or if you don't wash them regularly, minsan may kakaibang amoy na sila yun, eh, ba? They retain a certain smell na minsan ayaw mo na silang gamitin, ito tapon mo na lang, so sayang. But with this, as long as you clean them regularly every after use, um, it will not retain any scent or any bad odor. So you can use it for a, lo a really long time. These products, um, they are very versatile. You can use it for a lot of uh, ways. Like, you know, like we mentioned earlier, for exfoliating, for cleansing your face. Um, and I think we can also use it to put on makeup. But uh, let's try it on some other days na lang and then we'll see if it will really work as, you know, as like a, the usual like a beauty blender sponge where you can use it to apply your um, BB cream or your foundation. Also guys, they are very easy to clean. Isusok mo lang siya sa water, warm water, cold water, but not hot water. I mean, then just put uh, maybe a liquid soap and then just, you know, squeeze mo lang siya ganyan. And then, matatanggal na naman yung mga dirt noon. And then, after noon, you just hang it. And, uh, you know, let it dry. The only cons that I can think of for this product, guys, is if it is not well maintained or not well clean, it can potentially clog your pores because of any leftover dirt or uh, dead skin cells na maiiwan dito sa sponge. The other cons that I can think of is whether you're using a, a synthetic sponge or this kind of um, sea sponge, it might be a little bit abrasive for some other skin types. Like if you have a very dry skin, uh, very sensitive skin, if you have an acne prone skin, or if you have any um, like skin problems or skin disease, like for example psoriasis, it might be a little bit abrasive. Like for example, if you have an oily acne prone skin, using a sea sponge to scrub your face may can make you break out even more. So that's um, that's another thing that you have to take note, guys. Um, although as for this kind of um, sponge, naman, um, I feel that it's soften up. But of course, um, ko lang nakakalam ng ano mo eh, ng skin mo eh. So you have to test first before you know using it. It, it may be good for other people, but for some, it might be too abrasive for them or. If they are really too overly sensitive, please try it first muna. And like I mentioned, when you scrub your face, you don't use it and talagang scrub na baka naman mabura na yung mukha mo sa kakascrub. But uh, when you use it like how I did it earlier, circular motion lang and then very light-handed. That's how you should um, use this tool to, you know, cleanse your face or to remove any, um, yun nga, yung mga dead skin cells, ganyan. Okay, guys. So, um, if you ask me, I still recommend this product. I like it. Personally, I like it. Um, I think it works. It, it does the work of cleaning your face, removing all the dead skin cells or any excess dirt na nasa face mo. Uh, but again, just be mindful of your skin type. I, I know this product, you can use it for any skin type. However, if you feel that you have an overly sensitive skin or alam nyo na, if you have a very problematic skin, please be extra careful. Um, you can still use it, but don't try to... Uh, don't try to scrub your face too much. Just use it very light-handedly. Guys, for me, I like this product. I still highly recommend it. It's a very natural way for you. It's a very nice tool for you to use para, you know, to clean your face rather than using yung mga synthetic sponges. I will still prefer using this rather than those. Um, and then, um, 
of course it's very eco-friendly it's very natural very durable it will uh, save you a lot of money using this because it can last you for a long time as long as you keep it clean always uh, like every after use and then keep it dry so, okay guys so currently this product i believe is uh they're currently serving um uk market it's actually available in amazon uk i will also include the link on the description box um, also i'm going to include their contact for their facebook and instagram account in the description box just do check them out and then message them if you guys are interested to purchase their products for me i highly recommend it i really like it so nasa inyo na guys if you guys want to try it but for me it works yun guys so thank you again for joining me for today's vlog if you guys like this video and if you learned something please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell para lagi kang updated whenever i have new uploads so thank you guys again for watching and see you on my next video Bye!